Today, President Trump and Republicans celebrate as the biggest tax overhaul in about 30 years heads to his desk. The final version of the long-discussed proposal cleared its last hurdle this afternoon. So what does this mean for people and businesses here in our area? Kayla Strayer joins us now to break it all down. Kayla. Yeah, Kim, Josh, I've been talking with small businesses and parents all day about this. They're looking forward to the child tax credit and relief for employers, but they're also not sure exactly how much this is going to help them and for how long. Jasmine Jones is a single mom of three girls and one on the way. I'm used to struggling. She's glad to hear the new tax plan will basically double the child tax credit. It help a lot of single parents like me out. She says she tries to keep up, but when it comes to taxes, the changes are confusing. President Trump said in November this tax plan would cut that confusion. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> While the final plan took a step towards simplifying the process for some, the bill does not exactly pass the postcard test. Small business owner Eddie Garza plans to let his accountant do the heavy lifting. Really confusing, like especially to like a first time owner. I asked Eddie what would help him most when it comes to taxes. Everybody's paying their fair share, you know, like I'd like taking care of your employees. That's the most important thing. Eddie is waiting to see just how much this plan will help him in the long run. Some of the individual tax cuts are set to expire in 2025. If it's going to help, I would like to see it go for long term. As for Jasmine, she says she relies on herself and her family for help, not the government. I'm still going to be struggling at the end of the day, and I'm still going to be taking care of my children by myself at the end of the day. Local CPA Steve Gentry says he has been getting a lot of questions from his clients about the tax reform plan. He says most of the changes people will see are, quote, moving deductions around. One of the biggest changes, though, he does think this plan brings is cutting the corporate tax rate from 35 down to 21 percent. Kim. Kayla, thank you. And tax changes will come as early as February. Your 2017 taxes will not be affected by this.